It was around 1990 when I acquired this FT470 and it worked well for many years, giving me access to 70 centimeters and packet radio. After around 10 years, the battery pack gave in and I replaced the innards with new nickel cadmium batteries. But now that's gone too, and I got a new battery pack, a 12 volt one from eBay for around 25 euros. But as you see, that does not do anything. And the reason for that becomes apparent when we have the both battery packs side by side. So here from the upper rim it goes down three millimeters and on the new battery pack the distance is four millimeters. And if we look at the battery contact springs on the radio we see that they are not very flexible and do definitely not have a full millimeter of play. So the idea is to pad up the battery contacts with a little bit of solder. Let's see how that works out. Fortunately, those contacts are fairly clean and take the solder very well. well let's see if that already makes things better. Oh, that's a failure, but the solder spots align okay, so we'll need to apply quite a bit more, I think. So there's quite a bit more solder on them now. I suppose it will become blunt after a while, but for the moment it appears to work great. Uh, see how much output power we get from that. That's 37 dBm, that's exactly 5 watts, and that is what the manual says one should get from uh, a 12 volt battery pack. Let's see the same thing on 70 centimeters. That's even a little more than 5 watts. So that is definitely an improvement and well worth the 25 euros that I spend on eBay for that battery pack. I hope that helps when you are trying to revive your old FT470.